strange women that live in the mountains. <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> A little creepy. I think of an evil old lady. Hocus Pocus, mainly. Uh, still witch trials. <laughs> Pagan signs and witchcraft. Uh, something I want to stay away from. Magic. In the winter of 1692, two little girls became very ill. They were cousins. The illness that these girls exhibited did not yield to the usual home remedies, prayer, fasting, that sort of thing. So a doctor was called in and the doctor made a diagnosis of bewitchment. A court was formed to, to try people who were accused and tragically people were convicted. By the fall of 1692, uh, 14 women and five men had been hanged, one man had been pressed to death. This was under a definition of witchcraft that involved a pact with the devil. To, to say that the Salem trials uh, were the result of fear, I think, is the most obvious. Well, you know, there's been prejudice against Wiccans since the 1600s. So we're, we're just trying to educate people that it's okay to have differences and it's okay to be in a diverse group and you might learn something from your neighbor, you know, that might not be the same, look the same as you. I, I mean, I would like to see in the next few years that people are looked at as people. I am a witch, and what that means is that I follow an ancient path of magic. Witches are creatures of magic, or people who are born with special gifts and abilities. And it's not that everyone isn't born with that, because everyone has a little bit of psychic ability, but witches are generally those people who are born with a little more. Magic is as ancient as time. It is the power of the soul to make change. But it's also feared. Hence, we have the secret, which you see on Oprah Winfrey, which is, oh, if you believe it, you know, draw a picture of it, enough it'll happen. It's just witchcraft. We all do. All of us can probably, you know, make macaroni and cheese out of the box, too, but that doesn't make us a five-star chef. We all have some ability, but there are those of us who are so steeped in it that we can't help but find our way to this path. You know, of course the people that are doing something wrong behind the scenes, they really don't like us because they know eventually we'll get them. And they really can't hide from a witch. I never anticipate prejudice, and so I rarely experience it. As both a, a modern witch and a gay man, I've developed over my, my years an ability to be in on the joke to disarm people with humor, and to let people know that I don't take myself so seriously. So the things that might be fear triggers for those people no longer become so. You know, I might say to a coworker when I worked at an ad agency, oh, I just flew in on my broom. And, you know, okay, it might make me sound a little kitschy, but I feel like it disarms them, and it does. So very seldom do I have people mistreat me and say, that's so evil what you do, you're a witch, or you know, you're killing babies, because we don't do those things. I think people are very afraid of things they don't know. And I think they're also very afraid, and I say people, we, human beings, don't like differences. I think we're conformists. The message out there is that because someone looks different, or someone practices different, or they have a different religion, you know, or whatever it might be, or, or their their views about just life in general are different. That doesn't make that person a bad person. You might want to think to get to know them, learn a little bit about what they're talking about, and you might get something out of it. You might become educated yourself.